Hello YouTube, this is Wicca Mohan and welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about another Sabbath that I'm bringing to you guys. Um, and today's um, Sabbath, it will be the Midsummer. Midsummer. Midsummer, the summer solstice, June 20, 22nd. Okay, so I'm gonna read, like always, a little bit of this um of this Sabbath and what it means and where originally came from and all this good stuff. So um, most culture of the North. Asmophere acknowledge midsummer in some ri ritualized manner in pagan Indian midsummer was the principal festival of the entire year. This holiday has been called by many names, including Lita or Vestalia in ancient Rome. Gathering day, gathering day in wells. Fail Citan in Scotland, Alba Heflin in the Anglo Saxon tradition, all couple, all couple days in Greece, and the Feast of Epona in Asian Gaul. In Scandinavia, it is celebrated at a later date and is called Ding Teddy, a day when community gather in a sort of town meeting as they have since Asian time to conduct business before celebrating celebration and feasting. That's what Miss Summer came from ori originally came from, from many different places and culture and um all these um other countries and other stuff like mm, from Rome Scandinavian and all these places so midsummer marks the time of the summer sister the long the longest day of the of the year the highest highest the haste of the sun power and the and and though the hottest day of summer still light ahead From this point onward, we enter the winding year, and each day the sun will recede from the sky a little early. So, the sun will recede from the sky a little early. Um, on each day during this um, time 
of the summer solstice. Okay. At midsummer, the goddess is heavy with pregnancy. So at this point, the goddess is pregnant at this point. And um, just as the earth is pregnant with the upcoming harvest bounty and the cattle of the field await carbine but the fer the fertility rights continue just as a human baby can be miscarried or born Blick that our pagan ancestor knew that the, the same was true for the crops and animal and midsummer rituals focus on nat nurturing new life both in the ground and in human and animal worms but motherhood is not the sole focus of this Sabbath. For every mother, there is a father. So, for every mother, there is a father. And is and and. So it is in paganism. And so it is in paganism. So the sun is at his peak in the sky. The sun, God, and the peak at the peak of his life. And we celebrate his approaching fatherhood. Because this is a Sabbath which glorifies the sun, and the sun is a symbol of protection for many pagans. Okay? So we, um, like, glorify the sun because the sun is one of the symbols. Uh, symbol of protection so um, for many pagans okay so I guess this is it for today's topic um, if you are new watching my videos please give thumbs up like share and subscribe to my channel and uh, if you love following Wicked Mohana Media, please feel free to follow every link below this video. So, um, this is it about today's topic. Today's topic is um, Midsummer, um, Summer Sisters. So, um, thank you for watching. And as always, blessed be. Bye bye. <music>